Well there, I got the Cura Grand Prix hat. That suits. Driving cars 31 and 14 separately. They haven't. Stronger than your excuses, no matter where the wind blows. Doesn't matter what Avengers character you choose to be. Like, you could still be Spider-Man. Look at this. I got a ginger brother and a stone brother. <laughs> Whoa. Hello and good day. It's Thursday the 9th and it's 11.20 a.m. It's been kind of a slow start to the day, but what I'm up to right now, I am watching the Porsche Carrera Cup. So that's a Porsche race over here. Great Lord. One of them was just about to get off of line and now they are, oh, they're back in line now. That's just a formation lap. So these are all the racers. Here's the camera from, well, you see all these cars got numbers. Well, until I get it, I'm just gonna give it a random number, 31. He's driving behind 43, I think that's 43. No, it's, oh. Okay, so car 98. Okay, my apologies, there isn't a 31, but there is a 43. Like I thought that green car might be the number 43. There's a 13, there's 16. And yeah, now the time ticks is there's 22 minutes till the race. And this does remind me of last year in April when we had went to the Acura Grand Prix. <laughs> Okay, that green Porsche right there, that's a 19, and he almost missed that red one. Oh, that's a, oh, that's 44. Okay, I was wrong. Thought I was 43, but it's 44. Oh, there, I got the Cura Grand Prix hat. That suits as Ariel Levy driving car 25. He's trying to get in front of five, but five doesn't let him pass. 23 is trying to pass 19, but 19 says, not today. A few moments later. That's the end of the race. It turned out 10 Vorda driving number one, car number one, uh, won the race and King in second. So there was supposed to be 24 racers in this competition. 22 of them had turned up, whereas Sebastian Freimoth and Robert DeHaan driving cars 31 and 14 separately. They haven't qualified for a race. They've had some issues with the car. So 22 cars could appear in the race. That was the race. Now for major reasons, I had to cancel my session for today. So I'll do a workout earlier than planned. We were supposed to go and take a museum tour with a group on this Saturday, but due to heavy rain, we are gonna have to move that to next week on Saturday, May 18th. But hopefully we'll actually get to do it on the day because even now it is gray and lousy. For a couple of days, it was bright and spring-like. Now it is misty and gray and dull again. And in two days, we are going to get hard rain. So next Saturday, I am going to do a 15 plus minute video for the city tour. But even for Saturday this week, I would like to do as much so I could get to do a long vlog episode. Here, <laughs> this is electric. You can see from the right end. <laughs> it's like a mocha industry, you know? Someone working at the chocolate industry. Hey, this dude works in the chocolate industry. Okay, well, here we in now. And great. This time I won't fail to show you what I was going to last week when we were sending it that 
food court up there. See so yeah, that they're working on this building and the others, the others look almost complete and making a neighborhood here, I reckon. Making a whole compound. Got into the mall now and you can see some part of these houses that is where it's on construction right now. So they are building a group of apartments outside the mall. started but well, when did the renovation start april 22nd right i believe so it was a uh, monday but we left home on the weekend uh well i had spent my last night in my loft on that day and next day was april 23rd i had it off on that day like i was still in the loft when they started and then yeah because that was the same day that we had picked up this car that had been at the service today is may 9th wow it has passed half a month but yeah i do feel ready to make it back there in a few days on saturday we are looking to make up the bed that's in my bedroom as i just spoke about we're coming to the end of the third week of the loft renovation we had already got the bed we're gonna start working on the refrigerator soon and my father's gonna go out of here next Saturday, the same day that we are planning to take a museum tour. It's 5.53, but I am still gonna do a run at the fitness center as I had made a two-day plan, but after we had to postpone this weekend's trip, I am actually going to extend that to a three-day fitness plan. Well, you know what they say, be stronger than your excuses, just like that slogan that says at the top of the Mac one club in one second i will begin my workout and oh it's in miles an hour so i'm gonna start five so yeah what can be stronger than my excuses my hip ache a leg ache what could it be too much hiking <laughs> well it's like i'm making it up now but yeah kind of run but just like yesterday i said i'll do it tomorrow Let's see, I can actually run. Oh, nice. I can do a Sequoia run. I can even do a Germany. I did that last week, but I'm actually gonna do a Sequoia run. Oh man, there's a time limit for that too. I'll take, oh, 13 minutes. Well, there we go. I'm now taking the Sequoia run. That's great, but the problem is, is how slow it goes and the quality as well. I mean, I, I don't have a problem with the quality, but it is looking a little bit slow. Oh, great. I even got other runners here. Got a guy driving a blue fan and these two runners here. Oh, dang it. I might actually take this back. Is you see how my incline is going up? It's now 2.9. Let's see, I got Yuko, Onaka, Hunter, Levitt, and three other runners here so great i'm coming up to one of them it's 7 31 i just left the mac one fitness club after a 45 minute workout well just like i said before getting into the fitness center that slogan be stronger than your excuses no matter where the wind blows this is not bohemian rhapsody or midnight in paradise whatever that album is called like just out of aggression, you just gotta build yourself and be three times as big as your excuses. It's gonna be the Hulk, whereas your excuses have gotta be like Spider-Man. Doesn't matter what Avengers character you choose to be, like you could still be Spider-Man, but you still chuck the dust of your excuses off your legs and your arms and that's how you build up in that case so last week i was talking about a plan as such that in my next plush bulls episode i would 
do a scene as such that Lobo would meet the angry gamer. However, my loft renovation is still not 100% complete, so I am going to have to bring that to the episode after that, which is on Friday, May 24th, in what will be my second to the last Plushables episode for the season, where the season finale will be June 7th. So I still got three episodes to publish until June 7th, including that date. The Angry Gamer, which, by the way, is me, basically, in disguise. But yeah, the Angry Gamer has previously been featured in episode 14 of the series, Porco's Nightmare, that I had published on Friday, January 5th, 2024. Look at this. I got a ginger brother and a stone brother. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> was it that dude? That was staring like the big brother yesterday <laughs> well something happened to his eyebrow by the way like i realized yeah he had a cut in his eyebrow that's unfortunate do cats even have eyebrows though well no cats don't have eyebrows but around the area that's above his eye there was a cut anyway so now gonna oh you're gonna join me oh my. <laughs> it's gonna get inside <laughs> wow I'm not gonna lie this look really really thin it's 9 14 now it's time to chill and relax and put this day to a full stop it's been a fantastic day early in the day tomorrow my cleaning lady is gonna come obviously and it does seem that i get much more productive when it's not one of those days that my cleaning lady comes home otherwise it's like i just had to sitting in front of a laptop like I'm working in an office. It's like I'm doing document work or it's like I am trying to create a new website. <laughs> Not gonna take it that far, but we are gonna head out in town on June 2nd for vacation. And initially my father was supposed to come back here on June 9th. He's gonna come back here on June 2nd, the day that we are gonna be leaving to Bodrum. So, between May 18th and June 2nd, I will take one day to take the trains and do a city tour by myself. So, that will do it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm really hoping that you enjoy this video. I'll see you tomorrow.